Okay, I was thinking about I was thinking about something. Uh, I every once in a while I'll get in this little thing uh, with uh, my Republican friends, and I do have Republican friends. I I do, and I respect uh, the position they come from. Just all that. All right. Uh, it's part of my being a liberal. I I understand everybody has a point of view. Here's the thing. Um, you know, I'm getting this discussion about war and and uh, conflict and what we need to do. You know, uh, uh, we we're looking at this thing like we we got slapped first. We didn't get slapped first, people. Uh, we have been uh, slapping for a long time, ever since Afghanistan, and, and probably even before then, when the Russians were were in Afghanistan. Uh, they had their own machination going on, and it was our job to jack that up. And we did it by subterfuge and all this other fun stuff. This is this is the thing that a lot of people don't understand. We cannot get in a conflict with these people. We need to settle the shit down is what we need to do. And uh, we need to do it by doing the hearts and minds thing. That is the thing that is ultimately is going to help. Because whether everybody anybody believes it or not, the Middle East as a region is our ally. Uh, the United Arab Emirates is our ally. Uh, regardless of the little stuff that goes on out of there, that they're our ally. Uh, so is uh, Israel. Israel is also our ally. And, uh, and, the, and as our ally in the Middle East, it is a very strong presence that should we need them, they are there. And regardless of the rhetoric, and regardless of the history, and all the, all the stuff that happens, uh, and our history isn't bad. That's the thing. Our history isn't bad. A couple of you know, jabs here and there, but you know, it, it's a that's what families do. <laughs> you know, it's basically the deal. So uh, yeah, um, there there are legitimate gripes being made in the Middle East. We can sit here and. And pontificate. I'm pontificating right now, and my, and the retort is a pontification of itself. All right. Uh, everybody has strong points of view based on secondhand information, thirdhand information, fourth, fifth, sixth. Uh, the amount of information that gets watered down by the time it gets to us is so weird anyway. And I, I go on the a lot of these these right wing websites, and not a lot of them do it, but a couple of them. A, a, a couple of them are. And they're uh, they're insane, people. <laughs> I'm just just telling you this. The amount of racism and fear that is being generated out of these things is amazing. And one thing that you one thing that the fear thing generates is this hatred and uh, hatred of something coming to get you. You know, the fear of something coming to get you, and the hatred of that thing that is coming to get you. You gotta take bring it back a notch, people. You know, uh, God's not gone out of our lives. That that's one of the things that we don't understand. People are je are standing up and screaming that God's being taken out of our lives, but God's not taken out of our lives. Uh, as long as as long as you yourself project a strong family uh, unit and instill in your progeny that the beliefs that you believe, then your version of what the world is is going to continue all right uh, and so Christianity will go on in perpetuity and so will Islam I hate to say it people but Islam has over a billion followers and uh, there are aspects of it that appeal to people not the bombing for sure I you know the fear of blacks the fear of Arabs it's so crazy it's so crazy because I've dealt with these people on a semi um, intimate, uh, semi-intimate relationship, and uh, you know, I, I've talked to him about these very real issues, and uh, yeah, you know, they're as concerned about this shit as we are, as, as we uh, non-Muslims and non-black people. Uh, the Ferguson thing, you know, there are black people that said, "Man, you seen the, you seen the tape? The kid went in there and started stealing stuff and hitting the." Hitting the uh, quick trip guy, you know, yeah, fucking a. Uh, everybody, everybody knows. Uh, you know, you can. You, you we're drawing race lines in, in these. We're drawing race lines in the sand, and it's unnecessary. Uh, 
the world is a multicultural place. We're going to have to deal with it. And being that we are in the internet age, we're going to have to deal with that too. All right. Eventually, we're going to have to talk to somebody that speaks French or German or uh, Arab, for Christ's sakes, for something that we need to know. So, be be aware. And or or black in our own in America, there are lines that are drawn, and people live so differently. Uh, uh, based on these lines, you have no idea. Uh, the people that are saying, well, all you got to do is simply do this, there's no simple answer to it. There is no simple answer to it. Uh, people, people, they were, they're another example of people that got slapped first. Nobody remembers when uh, they dropped chemical agent on uh, a housing complex in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, j under 50 years ago, to test uh, DDT, I think it was to test some chemical agent. They go, well, might as well put it on the black people. We got them all in one area anyway. Are you kidding me? You don't think that's going to cause a little bit of pain? You don't think that's going to cause a little bit of hurt? Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. You know, uh, people people say, well, all you got to do is, uh, you know, uh, turn the Middle East into a, into, a, uh, uh, into a glass parking lot. Okay. And then what does that do with our relationship with the rest of the world? Huh? And the rest of the Muslims that are out there, it's like, did you see what they just did? They think they can do that, and pretty soon, and and then people of good conscience are going to be saying the same thing on our. Why did we? Why did we do that to a whole bunch of people, to a whole bunch of kids? You know, kids that were that were acclimating themselves to our way of life. That's another thing too. Look at Vietnam forty years ago. Vietnam of then was a completely different animal than Vietnam now. Now it's a tourist trap. You know. Uh, people are going there and they're and they're hanging out and they're staying at the Holiday Inn and they're staying on the beach. Come on, man. The world is changing. We've got to take. We've got to accept it and we have to acclimate ourselves to that. If you don't, you're going to be a bitter old person that is scared to go out of their house. This is what's going to happen, and you don't want to be that. You don't want to be that. So anyway, that's my soapbox. I, I just want to. I just want to say that. Uh, uh, we got to be good to each other. That's the thing. We need to uh, come from a position of respect and understanding. That is what we need to do. If we don't do it from, if we don't do it in that order, if we slap first and then start doing that, it's going to send a completely different message. All right. That's my soapbox. Peace.